for for the new year i'm also going to be journaling right and i um want some advice if i may matt on how to do journaling because you've done it now how long when did you start journaling oh my gosh well if the daily one started in 2015 mm -hmm. i did it off and on in 2014 like every week until i was like let's go daily but i i honestly have been journaling since like oh my gosh the dream journal that let me wait hold on this is absolutely hilarious too because <laughs> like this is one of my mom's old journals that she had mm -hmm. look at the cover <laughs> oh but the earliest entry on the earliest entry on this one is uh 6 25 of 2010. So oh, okay oh nice handwriting. i've been yeah i have it's really neat i've been journaling for a long time but a lot of it started like ninth ninth grade well, well mm -hmm. 2010's what yeah 10th to 9th grade for me um so that's what i did then Ooh. but yeah i've off and on for different reasons with different journal kinds so dream journal was a, a pretty simple start just writing down dreams mm -hmm. and then i did um uh, my next one was a was a journal i got for book club in high school I wrote book mm -hmm. summaries for our book club discussions and stuff. Yeah. Mm. And then I did the... Uh, I've got like 20-something different kinds. How uh, how much attention do you pay to the the like, the like quality of your handwriting and all the little bits? Or do you just write down what Not, come... Just... Well, I, I definitely pay attention enough that I can read it. Like, So here mm -hmm. is... Here's the current daily one. Oh, um, okay. Then, do you get a new book every year or is it um... no no they don't they don't always they, well the journals i'm getting the length of them doesn't always fill an entire year so this isn't all of them this is just all the current range right now so you can see this is 15 to 16 mm -hmm. oh i don't have them in order actually this is 20 <laughs> to 21 this is 20 16 to 17 so this is the current range Mm -hmm. Like eventually this range ends and I have to get a different one and put it back because you don't fill an entire year in this. It's not right, enough. Yeah. it's only enough for like six months or seven months maybe. Oh, okay. Depending on how much I write. But that's the one I pay the most attention to because it's the daily one. Mm. And, and it is just it's just free thought. It's basically just you probably can't read it. But like if I hold this up. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I could probably have a good go at it if it was you like could, right there you in could front probably, of me. You could probably figure it out. Some of them mm. are messy. But the wildest thing is comparing my handwriting to like years ago. Mm. Like, look at this page. Look at the top line of this page and how many words are on it. So, see how many words there are? There's like 1, 2, 3, yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's like 16. This is a page in 2015. Oh. See how the writing's different? I'm also using yeah. different pens, probably. But look at that. There's about half as many words on that page, mm. the first line. I, I noticed that there don't appear to be many drawings. No, this is so... If I do any drawings, it's in the margins. Um, mm. I'll use symbols and stuff. Like, for example, I'll star stuff. A thing I've started doing mm. recently is I've started to symbol certain entries. I started to do a circle and a triangle over certain ones. You oh, see right. that? I started to use symbols to designate certain stuff. And well, then, um, uh, does that make it easier to like find find things over yeah. time? Yeah. So I can flip. I can flip through the dates now. See this? Oh, see, yeah. I can flip the dates, and I can. Oh, there's one. I can find entries faster. And then, Chris, check this out. Ready? Uh -huh. I have a I have a mind map on certain moments that are worth remembering. Look at this. Oh. Now I can like pick certain dates out. So as I was reading, oh. I would add certain stuff that was cool and put it on here. So these bubbles that are circled are all specific dates, and then mm -hmm. I have what it is. Wow. So this is just a free writing gratitude journal. So basically, I mm -hmm. just free write what I'm thinking about and what I'm grateful for. So it's stream of consciousness. Mm. There's no like structure really to it. No structure, no rhyme, no reason. It's not date, but you do do it every day, right? I try. I usually do. If I don't, I record myself at the end of the day, and then I find a free time to write down what I said.
later on. Like a the voice weekend. note on your phone or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't actually do a voice note. I do a video. But yeah, voice note would work too. As oh, long does, as I, does the video I, do anything different? Like, is there a, a reason for a video over, or is it just um, uh, something that helps I don't know. You? It's, it's, I just have my phone on me. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's a smart point, using the voice memo instead. That'd probably be easier. But I also, if it's hard to hear me, I can like look at myself talk. I don't know mm. if, that, if the audio's bad. I can see myself, so I can. Yeah. But, hmm. um, it's kind but of yeah. interesting. And so it depends on what kind of journal you want to do, because mine are very stream of consciousness, gratitude centered. But mm. you could do, I don't know, what kind of journal are you? Are you like mine isn't collagey at all. It's not like a bullet journal where you get artsy and stuff and you do mm. like. It's not like a habit journal where you. What kind of journal? Do I you don't want know. To do? Like I, I'm kind of thinking it's going to be one of those things where you you do it and then you work out where it goes. Right? You just kind of got to start and 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 see where it takes you i mean not not knowing and not having a plan i'm guessing is kind of part of the fun i think in yeah reality, it is what kind I wanna, of part of the fun what i want to get out of it is i want to be able to uh i i'm starting to think there's like value in writing things down because there is i uh, you know no one's memory is as good as they think it is um and I, i'm often quite yeah. interested in the idea of like like I, I find it very curious is that like we don't know the best in, in many cases with some obvious exceptions we don't know the best moments in our life until they have passed I which say, i think yeah. is kind of a it, it's a strange thing um it's but i true, know it, yeah when i remember like some of what some of my fondest memories at the time i had no idea that i'd be looking back and thinking what a, you know how yeah. you know so I think what I really want to do is just have some something to help my memory, really. Um, something maybe to like gather a bit of perspective, because our memory always distorts things. Um, I, I kind of want an idea to maybe collect my ideas a little bit. Um, but in reality, just get in the habit of having a little bit more of a written memory. I think that's that's really what I'm trying to get at. It doesn't have to be, you know, I'm not, I'm not setting any strict rules. Um, um, but but I would like to be able to maybe come back to it in five or so years and 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 you know I think it's really cool when you bring up a, a, a journal from like five years ago and you know exactly what we were doing on this day and it's like that's, well, I don't, that's I don't, I'm like, I, the thing is right I I don't know what we did but I have a pathway to get to it yeah and I think that's it's accessible like mm. okay so for example um. I recently forgot the brand of the mittens that I bought. So I lost oh. them. This is a funny story too. I lost them. It turns out they were on top of my car. And when I left the lot, they flew off of my car when I made a turn. Oh, when no. I came back from church, I saw them in the road and we got them back. But oh, okay. I couldn't remember for the life of me what the brand was called. Because I've had them for two, three years. I haven't thought about the brand. Hmm. So I went into my Discord and I looked up mittens and I found my Discord AYOP entry that had when I bought the mittens, and I said oh. what brand they were. So it's just about, I guess, like having access to a way to get the memory retrieved, like it's a photo. Yeah. An easy way. Yeah. But um, that's that's like the benefit of of the the Discord thing I'm doing makes it searchable because I can't search this mm. easily. Other than just flipping through it, oh, yeah. Other, other than the date, other than the date, um, but it really is cool to think about, like the um, to think about. I like looking at the patterns. So what I do is each day it takes mm -hmm. me like twenty five minutes to look through every journal. Now I know this will get harder because as the volume increases, I won't be able to look back as far. Yeah. Or if I do, it's going to take like every year is like an extra five, 10 minutes. So yeah. if I have 10 journals instead of eight, mm -hmm. it's going to take me longer as I keep going. But anyway, yeah. like it is, it is really cool to look at patterns between each year and stuff that changes and stuff that doesn't and like where my attention was going. So I guess that's kind of the point. But every time I got a different journal idea, I made a different journal for it. So like today when I was in the car with my brother, Mm -hmm. I um I have my mind map journal out, which is just mind map drawings. 
not yeah. in any specific kind. It's just a doodle journal for like thinking about stuff. Yeah. Like when I did the when I did the podcast with my friend Faith, I mind mapped every episode before we did it. So I have mm-hmm. all twenty five episodes in there. Oh of wonderful. How, of what I thought about. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yours sounds so, like a stream of consciousness one more. Like you just want to try it out. Yeah, yeah, trying it out. Like I do, wanna, like, I do bullet, have a like bullet points. Yeah, stuff, bu- bullet points, you know, sentences on their lists. own, that kind of thing. <laughs> uh I I do have a notebook by the side of my desk that I've started keeping for the past couple of months, which is kind of where <laughs> I've I've you know, kind of a stepping stone that got me here. And I kind of like that, but it is probably your equivalent of a mind map journal like i write down notes if i'm doing a podcast or a video or something like that that's not quite the same although i think there's still value in that as well um yeah this one sounds like you might want it a little bit more structured so that you can refer back to it yeah right not just scratchy not like a grocery list journal where you write down a grocery list and cross it off and then you're done no i i want to yeah (laughs) So, you know, I could put, I'll put a date in it. I'm going to put 31st of the 12th. That's all I do. I just do a date. 22. I just do a date in the top, the yeah. top right hand corner. You do, yeah. It's, you do the the backwards Solid. American date too. 10... Oh, yeah, I do. 10, 24. Yeah, I do the month and the day first. Oh. And then, uh, and then the fun oh. thing is when I get to do the one, one time... One time I did the new year and I the previous date I said it was a different year. It was really funny. <laughs> but um I started the daily one. I don't think I have I don't think any of these that I have go past the new year. Oh yeah, this one does. So like sometimes they like I'll circle them too, I'll write the bigger. It's really fun to like mess around with the mm. the format. But like this one here. You can tell that as soon as I got to the new year. Oh, I didn't do the new year on this one. I just started to write one one. Oh. I didn't even put the put the year down. Didn't put the year in. Sometimes it. I put the year in there. But. Yeah. Cool. But it's just cool. I make really cool connections, and I think that's the benefit of it. It's the mm-hmm. time span. Like I know one of the journals starts on the day that Tony Morrison died. Oh. I don't know what date it is, but I know one of the journals starts on that date. Yeah, so, like, it, it's weird what sticks. And then, like, this little one, this is, like, a values one that I have. This is from Smarter mm-hmm. Every Day, his journals. This mm-hmm. one is just, this one's just a bunch of mind maps on themes of ideas. Oh. See? It's just a bunch mm-hmm. of So this one's, like, a long-term one. If I just, if I get an idea that sticks, I hold on yeah. to it. And I was talking to my friend yesterday about leadership image ideas like mm-hmm. this this journal only has like eight pages filled out the rest of it's completely blank mm. but it's got like all my leadership image stuff in it that i think oh about. nice yeah here's That's the cool. inverted u-curve idea we get the the impermanent cycle and stuff so mm. these are just ideas i come across in like books or talks or something that that stick so that's awesome. like specific use so it never fills completely mm. Because it takes so long to to do it. Yeah. Cool. Do you spend? Do you do you dedicate yeah. a bit of time to it? Do you like just sit down, no distractions, yeah. write a little bit at the end of every day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that the, the is that one of the last entry. things you do? Or? Yeah, it's kind of like my right before my I go to bed routine. Like I'll mm-hmm. do my I'll brush my teeth and I'll I'll do my journal entry and then. In this Discord I'm a part of where we gratitude journal, I'll pick one thing out of it and share it in the Discord. I've been doing mm-hmm. that since 2020. So I so the the gratitude journal Discord is a consequence of the journaling. Because I argue the journaling, I just mm-hmm. take something from the journaling and put it in Discord. But mm-hmm. the cool thing about Discord is it's searchable in the mm-hmm. Discord. And I can put pictures and I can put links in there and I can link to other content that I Mm. that i refer oh, okay. to in here if that makes sense mm-hmm. yeah totally. yeah it's my it's my routine it takes me like i think if i'm focused and not distracted it takes me like 30 minutes maybe 30 minutes. minutes that's quite a lot of time journaling it's a lot it's a page i do a page every time a page just one oh page how big time. is your okay. well how big is your how big is your journal it's it's pretty big this is a pretty big journal yeah so i mean you haven't you should time yourself the first time you write one of those pages 
It's going to depend on your handwriting. My handwriting is tiny. Mine's quite big. It's also like I space things out a fair bit. And you might, I, your handwriting might get smaller over time. Like yeah. Did, but you'll see. I, yeah. It's, Usually I'm uh, distracted though. I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to start with a few notes, you know, like a note, like, like three points or something like that. Um, are you going to try to fill the whole, the whole, a whole page per day? No, no, or no. How, what are you going to, are you going to, are you going to, so are you going to like do this daily? Are you going to dedicate one page a day or are you just going to do it however much you want? I'm going to think, that, so. I think I'm going to try and check in every day, but, um, at the moment I kind of want to see if, but like, you know, I'm sort of allowing myself an, an undefined amount of flexibility. If, you know, it, 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 I think a small, a small bit regularly is kind of what I'm going for. Okay. So a little bit a day, maybe just a yeah. few things to note down, you know, something to remember of the day, something that, uh, something of, I don't know, something of value, you know, yeah, something, something you noticed, something you noticed or something you thought about or where my head is at, or, like maybe like, do you know at? what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, Jess, so, pizza delivery. Clive <laughs> Matt. Wow. Pizza delivery. Thanks. Pizza delivery. Yeah, what I found was, what I found was over time when I did my daily one, I got really bored of saying what happened during the day. Ah. Because, because it got repetitive. Hmm. So instead, I tried to focus on more how I felt and mm. what I thought about what happened rather than just what happened. Because, you know, mm. when you tell somebody, like, what happened to you today? Oh, like, I woke up, I ate, I went to work, I came home, I watched some things, I, I, I hung out, and I went to sleep. I'm like, isn't that kind of every single day? Yeah. Yeah, So, I like, guess, that yeah. would be boring to me. So, what I, I guess what I did eventually was I started to say, like, what did I think about what happened today rather than just what happened? Yeah. But yeah. that's just... That's just I think so. Yeah, I think that that'd be quite good. Um, like, yeah, I because I the thing is like one of the things I notice is that from time to time, like I'll be driving to work or something, and an idea will come into my head. Oh, this will be a really good idea for a video. I'll forget that idea by the end of the day, right? If you, especially if it's one of those things where you're driving to work, so your mind has a bit of a chance to wander, and yeah, you get this cracking idea. This this will make a video. There's no way you're going to remember that to the end of the day. So much is going to happen between now and then. And I get yeah. quite frustrated a little bit about how, like, I I feel that, like, my head is an important place. Or, like, I have good idea. You know, like, there are thoughts worth uh, extending the lifespan of, shall we say. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I kind of want to want to make sure that at least some things that I think about kind of get preserved, I guess, a little bit, even if it's just for me. So... Yeah. And it might and yeah. it might it might sort of lead to ideas for videos or something like that. Um yeah, so I think I think I think yeah. yeah, I might uh, I might give it a go, see what comes Let's out. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. I can keep you I can help keep you accountable. For sure, for sure. Well, yeah. Well, you're on uh, you're on Mastodon now, so you can certainly do that. I am. I don't know what to, I need to figure out what to use Mastodon for. Well, you're um You've been, you've been on it a fair bit, and you're on the Nerd Fighter. I am. But I feel like every time I get a new account, I feel like I can share whatever on it, and maybe maybe my approach, maybe my approach is too pressured, and I should just use it for whatever I want. But then I feel like, why can't I just? What's the difference between like using something for Facebook and using something for Mastodon? I feel like if I have a specific use for the platform, I'll use it more. In the yeah. same way that if I have a journal for a specific use, I'll use it more. Yeah. But hmm. I might just use it for Nerdfighter stuff, maybe. I don't know. Or yeah, be um, kind of cool. Try to have like a specific, a specific use for it. Hmm. But it but is yeah. nice that it's a quieter Nerdfighter space, which is nice. Hmm. So uh, uh, yeah, and it it locks into like a, a you know obviously the bigger network of the Fediverse. I don't know. Yeah, and I'm thinking. I don't know if I want to do it all at once. I think I might do well, like you know, like three bullet points a day or something like that. Yeah. That would be my, you know, because I always find when it comes to like doing doing something new that's like a, a habit or something, it's always best to start off small and then keep coming back to it and then start building, you know, with a, 
over I time. Think, I think Atomic Habits calls that the smallest viable action. It's mm. the one action. It's the action that you have to get done, and then if you want, you can go beyond it. So, like, for me, the action is one page. Some days yeah. I'm really excited and I have more time and I do, like, three parts because I have so much to talk about. Mm. But the minimum viable action for me is... I have to sit, like, I get to my desk, I sit down, I have a pen. Mm -hmm. I gotta show you my, uh, mm -hmm. I, I got a 36 pack of black paper mates, and they sit mm -hmm. over here, like this, Ooh, in I my slinky. It. Oh, you gotta focus it? I gotta focus it? They, um... I don't think that did anything. Hold on. No. Oh, it'll refocus it'll at some get there. point. So... So these are, this is like a 36 pack of, these are the paper mates I use. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that don't leak through the moleskin journals that I use. So they're, oh. they're paper mate flare medium. Mm -hmm. And they just sit over here. So I'm easily accessible to grab if I need it. Mm -hmm. And um, if I only journal half of a page or I get too tired, at least I journaled a little bit and then I, I do yeah. it with the rest of it later. But my goal is to get one page, even if I have to stream of consciousness talk through <laughs> mm. but what pen are you using awesome. uh, this do you have parker parker pen byros in the states i don't know if it's I, a UK I brand. don't i don't think so is that, oh it looks like a, one of those fancy push pens no yeah hey now it's now it's in focus it is <laughs> so yeah don't put it too don't put it too close to the camera it's going to focus on the pen now <laughs> That's all right. That's how I want it. That that it's not overexposed or anything. Yeah, but so I don't you know. Like Discord... the, so you like the what kind of pen is it? Is it a ballpoint? A ballpoint. That's the one. Yeah, you we like call the them byros. Pens? Yeah. Yeah. They're, I like the. I don't like the ballpoints because I have to. I have to press too much. Ah, so you That's like, why the, I like the flare pens? Because I go fast and I do mm. like half cursive, half my own writing, and I can fly mm. through it. But eventually they do run out. But the ballpoints for me, it'd be too much pushing, too much pressure. Uh, they, uh, I think you can you can write quite light on these. Yeah, I guess it really depends on the kind. Um, it, ballpoint it, ink I'm... also can ballpoint ink can also smear very easily as well. Depends mm. on the ink that you have. Um, the ones that mm. I did have, like zebra pens and stuff, they worked well. But when I have my hand on the page, if I write on the next line down. You get pen hand. I didn't start with the daily entries. I started journaling like wherever I felt like it. Like, let mm. me show you. So, in my first, in this first one, actually, that's, I don't have it. It's in the other room. I journaled like every week or bi weekly or like every, whenever I wanted to write something down. Mm -hmm. That's what I did for 2014. I started like my birthday in 2014. I had a really good birthday. And that's when I started. Mm -hmm. And then I journaled like, I wrote the range. I wrote like six eight to six fifteen at the top, and then I journaled mm -hmm. a page. And the next one was like seven fourteen to seven twenty, whenever I felt like it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. But then my journaling was a reaction to what was happening, rather yeah. than a choice. I was react. I was reactive journaling. I wasn't choosing it. I was only journal. It'd be like. If you only did something good when you felt like doing it, <laughs> that makes sense. I think I think it does. If you only did something good like, when you felt like doing it, if you only did something important when you felt like you needed to do it, then you'd <laughs> never do it, right? Well, then or you like... would only then you would only you would only do it when you felt good. And what what is feeling good? You know, like how do you determine that? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it'd be like it'd be like if you only brushed your teeth when you felt like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about what your teeth, what shape your teeth would be in if you didn't have a regular routine for brushing you your just, teeth. Yeah. That's why I tell people like motivation is for amateurs. Just do something important. Don't mm -hmm. like, don't only do it when you feel like doing it because it's the act of doing it that makes mm. you feel better, not yes. waiting for yourself to do it. And also, like doing things you don't want to do. Or doing things you don't feel like doing, like it's kind of like 
is a muscle, right? Like you get yeah. more used to doing things you don't want to do if you do things you don't want to do more often. So you can learn to love doing something mm -hmm. by doing it more. Because yeah. it's it's kind of like it's kind of like you can only reap the benefits of doing something if you do it long enough. If that makes sense. Like results aren't immediate, like exercise mm. or anything else. You're not going to mm. get results immediately, so you have to commit to it long term in order to see results happen. Patience. And then you're like this thing, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, patience. Mm. It's kind of like living by a value. Like when you choose to live by kindness, your mm. life doesn't immediately get better because no. You have to choose that over a long period of time to reap the benefits of it. Consistency. And that's consistency. And that's what you're Keystone does. consistency, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> that thing that thing stopped immediately. Uh, you got a few episodes out of it. I got 25 episodes out of it. That's that good. Fun. That's good going. Yeah, man. That was a good time. Yeah. And we and got 10 I, episodes out of like, House of the Dragon. Yeah, and I can go back and listen to that whenever I want. And I have all the mind maps for all the episodes I did. It was fun. It was totally worth it. Oh, yeah.